Now to your health. This colorectal cancer awareness month, you should know diet is one of the major risk factors. And MD Anderson has some new information about one food in particular that you can add to your diet to possibly decrease your risk of cancer. Uh, health reporter Haley Hernandez shows us how many beans you'll have to... Oh, wait, she's over here. Over here. I, I thought you were over... Anyway, how you doing? What's up? We got a lot of beans here, huh? Yeah, good morning, guys. So MD Anderson did a study, and the majority of the participants were colon cancer survivors. Some had a history of cancerous polyps, and they found that beans improved the gut microbiome, which they associate with cancer prevention and improved treatment outcomes. By adding just one cup a day of beans to your typical diet, nothing else, not even additional exercise, strictly by eating beans, MD Anderson Dr. Carrie Daniel McDougall found the gut microbiome improves and might prevent colon cancer. Anybody can just start adding beans to their diet and maybe prevent colon cancer? I, I mean, that is really what our study suggests. So we gave them a half cup and we ramped them up to a full cup over a period of two weeks. And then at the end of four weeks, we already saw the significant changes. What changed? Basically, they saw good bacteria crowd out the bad and improve immune and inflammatory markers, as well as interactions between the gut and liver, which are actually important not just for colorectal cancer, but in other things that are important for cancer, such as the immune system and how our body regulates inflammation so that it doesn't get out of control and promote cancer. So if you're on board with beans, how do you prepare it? Some of the trial participants ate it plain. Some made elaborate meals with beans cooked inside. Some made chili. Others ate beans and rice. The point is, everybody ate the beans differently and all came to the same conclusion. The study was done specifically with navy beans, but the idea is the benefits can be seen with any bean. One should consider a range of different prebiotic foods and even a range of different legumes. So their beans are under this overall family of legumes and that includes things that maybe people prefer to eat over what we call the dry beans like navy beans, black beans, pinto beans. Legumes also include peas, lentils, chickpeas, lima beans, black eyed peas. You know, hopefully there's something under that umbrella that you would like to add to your diet. Dr. Daniel McDougall says that the good news is, is that your gut microbiome is really responsive and it changes quickly through your diet. So this is what a lot of people are already trying to do by taking pre and probiotics. But it turns out that for a lot of people, it could be as simple as adding beans to your daily meal. Okay. Yeah. Taste. Cup, a cup of beans a day is what they're doing in the trial. A cup of beans a day. All right. I don't know if my family would... <laughs> On me to eat those beans, but we're gonna, we're gonna to do it for the, the health. Everybody, to everybody. I mean, the whole I just family. Think it's, I think it's simple. I mean, she says, you know, you can use canned beans. That's yeah. cheap. I mean, it's not a food that like a lot of people are intolerant to. So, sure, yeah. find a way to get them in there. If yes, you can. Yeah. I love some beans. All right, Haley, thank you.